In today's video, I'm going to present you with a very cool solution that I'm using for the past six years. The solution is an hosted chat solution in English and Spanish. The reason that I like this specific solution is because there are lots of different hosted chat solutions, but the people that are working with those solutions are not really native English speakers and they will not really understand the slang and, and the way that we communicate in North America. And the other one is that the, there are no sales people behind the chat. And in this solution, there are sales people that are trying to create open-ended questions and bring the user to engage more and eventually to convert as a lead. So in this session, we have Tom. Hello, Tom, how are you? Hello. Doing very well. Thank you for having me on. Same here. So we have uh, some questions that I collected from different clients. And the first one is, what's so special with Engage? Why you guys are able to convert leads while other solutions having trouble converting them? I think there's a number of reasons behind that. Um, first and foremost, we've been around for uh, coming up on 13 years now of having the live chat service. Um, we have fully trained live operators 24 seven in English and Spanish. So it's not a bot. Um, these are days people that are hopping on the websites, they see a lot of chat bots and they know that they're not going to get the answers that they want. Um, and that it's, it's, it's not really the, the, the interaction that they're looking for. They're looking for human interaction. It's not fun. The, the, uh... I tried bots. I also, we, we have as part of the Zoho suite, we have bots. It never works. People are aggravated, they're leaving nasty comments. So uh, we, we dropped it. We're not using bots anymore. So I, I know what you mean. Yeah, and we are always split testing different um, graphics, the way that we phrase things, um, the number of operators that we have. We're, all, we're never letting our operators get overwhelmed with the number of conversations that they're handling. All those things lead to a high conversion rate and high customer satisfaction. What will be the limitation in your company? How many conversation one agent can have in the same time? So our operators typically, the, the limit that we have is about two, sometimes three conversations at once. I've tried handling the, the chat conversations myself um, and it is not easy to keep everything straight. So if, if you're trying to handle more than really three at a time, uh, there's a high likelihood that you may type the wrong message, to the wrong visitor, or just not be, um, not respond to that visitor in a timely manner. And we found that if, if you're not there to reply to a visitor within three seconds, most likely that's going to be an opportunity lost. There are lots of solutions out there that you will wait much more than seconds until someone answered you. So, so I think I understand why you have more conversions. Now, what about the way that you train your, your, cause there are salespeople. It's not just agents, the communication over the chat, they're asking you questions that they, they try to get you to share more information about your needs and your name and where you're from. So it sounds like there are salespeople, am, am I correct? So we've, we've developed a, a process that we've found to, again, increase conversion without scaring people away. Um, and that is just opening open-ended questions to the visitors. So we start out with, you know, tell me a bit about your situation. We get, they start talking. And then we really work with each individual business to develop, um, some, some questions to ask that visitor to gather the information that would be relevant to that particular business. Um, what we found does not work is whenever you have a verbatim script of 20 questions that you're running down. And that kind of ties back to uh, people thinking it's either a robot or they're on a mobile device and they just, they run out of time answering all these questions and they leave the chat before they ever provide any sort of contact information. Right. And, and the goal of the agent eventually is to take as much information as possible so the business owner can connect with him and continue the deal. Am I correct? That's correct. Uh, just get the basic facts of that visitor's situation, what they're looking for, 
um, and ultimately their contact information. I guess you could call it qualifying the lead and then getting that over to the business immediately, whether that's through email, text message, or a live phone connect so that the business can get in touch with that visitor before they have a chance to go to a potential competitor's website. Yeah. Now it's also connecting, I think, to the, the, your business model and your business model is charging based on conversions. So if, your agents are not able to bring all the quality information. What do you need? Name, email, phone, whatever the business owner requests. It's not really considered as a conversion and the business owner will not pay for this conversation. That's correct. So it's completely paper performance. Um, the, in order for it to be a qualified billable lead, the visitor would have to be looking for the services that that business offers in the geographic that the business services and um, a first time contact. So if this person's already called and in the process of working with that business, all of these are, are factors where we would not expect that business to pay for it. It has to be a brand new legitimate opportunity at business for them. So a, a qualified lead. Okay. Now, so there are no Eden fees, monthly fees, it's paper performance. You give Completely me business, paper performance. I pay you for it. That's right. Completely paper performance. There's no monthly cost. There's no annual. Um, there's actually not even a, a, a long-term commitment to it. It's completely month to month. So if you decide for whatever reason that it's not working out, um, you can just let us know and we turn it off for you. Right. Now, one additional thing that I liked about your service, about six years ago, I, I gave you my first client and which is one of the biggest law firms in Canada. And we built a website using AMP, which is accelerated mobile pages. And you guys were, this is also why I went with your company, not with the competition, because I didn't really know your quality back then. For me, it was engaged, was one of services out there. And the reason that I went with you guys, because you worked hard to try to create your plugin accessible with AMP, which is a very difficult technology to work with. And this is where our relationship started. Now, I really appreciate that. Now, in addition, I also talked with your company and I said, look, most of my clients are doing Zoho and your plugin needs to work with Zoho, which it didn't work back then. And you guys made the necessary changes so it can actually work and those leads can be pushed automatically to Zo. So I, I really like it about your company. Well, thank you. I remember that very well. Whenever that was the first AMP, uh, I guess, request that I had come across. So yeah, I worked very hard with our operations team and developers to get everything working properly. I, I remember it. It was, uh, you know, the, not every business will invest resources to try to accommodate a need. And I, you know, six years ago, it was AMP. Now it was Zoho. And in both cases, your company said, okay, let's do it. Let's try to make it happen, which, which I think it's, a, it's showing something about your company. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we, we want this to work for the businesses. Um, sometimes customization comes into play. We're happy to do that. Um, I think that's one of the things that makes us stand out from uh, other chat providers out there is that um, it's easy to get a hold of us. Our developers are willing to put in the extra time to make sure that things are working properly and efficiently um, so that we're not doing anything like slowing down page speeds or anything like that. Yep, no, no, it's uh, in terms of technology, it all checks in, so it's very good. Now. Who will be your target clients? Because obviously, if it's paper conversion, it's not going to be a cheap service. So we've had a wide variety of clients. Um, whenever we started out years and years ago, um, our, our primary focus was on the legal industry and the medical industry. Mm -hmm. And then since then, we've had clients in all sorts of areas, uh, plumbers, roofers, any sort of elective surgeries, uh, we've even had some car dealerships reach out. Um, 
all over. Ideally, any type of business that is looking to generate additional business through their website and um, their services are, I wouldn't say cheap, but um, where the cost per lead makes sense. Yeah, that, that was what I was thinking too. So it's basically services that the, the sell will be a decent sell, not something small. Right. Yeah. If you're, if you're selling a, a, a t-shirt or something like that, it, it's probably not going to yeah. be a good fit or some small trinket. Um, yeah. Maybe engage human operated live chat is not for you, but if you're doing something like a surgery, uh, legal industry, or some type of contracting work or HVAC work that ends up being sometimes thousands and thousands of dollars, uh, it seems like a no brainer. Now, when you're collecting the information, there should be some kind of security in place, especially if you're working with lawyers or medical doctors. What type of security can you suggest uh, with your plugin? So these leads are only going to the recipients that the business specifies. So no one else is seeing any of these leads. It's only the business. And if, if it's a medical industry, uh, mm -hmm. we are 100% HIPAA compliant. So security is top notch for us. We have How to take did you care. get HIPAA compliance? It's not, not an easy task. I know that businesses that working years to get HIPAA compliant. Uh, we've had it for, for several years. I, that would have been a, our legal team handling that, but we, we've been HIPAA compliant for, uh, I'd say we've been, it's been at least eight years now. And what we've had to do is change for specific clients that need that HIPAA compliance. Um, we put special, I guess, security checks in place for how they view leads, um, the phone, the live phone transfer option. Uh, so, so some of the features require a little tweaking to them to make sure that we're 100% compliant with that. Another question for you. Let's assume that in my business, I like people to book appointments. Do you have a way that the agents will book an appointment or use currently or zo bookings, whatever to book the appointment and that will be count as a conversion? Is that possible? So we certainly can provide a visitor a, uh, a link to a calendar or um, something of, of that nature. Um, we do, it is something in the, in, that we're planning right now, I guess, uh, sneak peek, yes, we, we do, do plan on having a more uh, honed in calendar booking system in the future. Um, but right now, yes, we certainly can. If, if there's a, a platform that a business is using to book appointments, we can provide that to the visitor. Um, though the one thing that's important to consider is, um, you don't want your calendar being filled up with junk. So a, a lot of times yeah. the business would prefer that we get all the basic information and hand that to them immediately. Again, even with a live phone call, so that the actual intake staff can best fit the, the potential client with their business's schedule. So they can validate and then if everything checks in, then they will book the appointment. Yeah. So short answer, sense. yes, we can. Long answer, there's reasons that there may be a better way. A hundred percent. If I'm thinking about a lawyer that his time is limited, and he cannot make, you know, be on the phone all day with uh, everyone that likes to talk to him. Probably there need to be another gatekeeper that, that making sure that only real appointments are being booked. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. And it's aligning with the type of businesses that you like to attract. Um, yeah, for sure. Now, in terms of... Uh, the setup. So let's say that I'm a new client. I'm starting to work with you. What will be step number one? So step How number one starts? is we just have a, uh, it's really a half page DocuSign getting started form that we send over. Mm -hmm. Once that ba is back, our team takes a look at your website and designs a custom chat code and graphic for your website. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, I would send over a uh, PDF that has all the basic information about your business. And we'd want you to review that. Give us the thumbs up that everything looks good. These are the types of uh, 
practice areas that we have or the type of services we offer. Uh, this is the location we typically do business, all that information. Mm -hmm. uh, and once the thumbs up is given to that, it's, it's ready to go. The entire process takes uh, typically two to three business days. That, that's fast. Now, in terms of uh, the payment, I know that because uh, uh, we are working together, you're waiving the setup fee for my clients, which is around $500. And except that, what will be the, the per conversion or is it viable between business to business, how, how it works? So yes, uh, so working together, uh, we're going to waive the usual $499, $500 uh, activation or, or setup fee. So it would cost, there would be no cost to actually get it started and set up on your website. Right. And then from there, we send over the complete transcript of each conversation. And if it is something that is not relevant to your, your business, um, again, outside of maybe your geographic area or um, something that does not qualify that lead, then there's no charge for it. If it is a new legitimate opportunity, mm -hmm. then our pricing is $35. 35 flat. It doesn't matter if it's a long conversation, many questions, it's flat $35. That's correct. Okay, very good. Um, do you have some kind of a sample to show us how it works, a demo page, something like that? Well, I guess I, one thing I would add on to the, that last comment. Yeah, sure. So whenever a lead is delivered to the business, if it does not meet their, their qualification parameters, there's a button at the bottom of that, that lead that says click here for no fee. And that's what they do. They click that and that tells us it was not a qualified lead. So it's, it's not uh, necessarily our operators determining what is and is not in, in the businesses, what is a quality lead for them. Of course, of course, it make, makes also sense. They, they can't know if the person is an existing client or, uh, yeah, of course, M makes sense. Certainly. Um, so as an example, uh, one of the, I guess the best places that I could show you is the engage live chat on our, our sure. own website. So we would customize this, this chat graphic in the bottom right here is uh, our live so, chat. So the live chat on the right bottom, that would be the chat on the website. And that can that be with any color that I want or what type of customization can you apply on it? So the colors will match the color scheme of the business's website. Um, almost anything that you're seeing here can be customized or tailored to the business's uh, look and feel of their website. We don't want this to look like a, uh, an afterthought to the website or some uh, cheap third-party plugin. So this is generally, the reason we have ours looking this way is that we've split tested, we've split tested this thing to death and this is what has shown to convert at the highest rate without having visitors scared off or be too intrusive. And then from here, um, what we do is, you know, if a visitor wants to chat, they'll click start chat. If they don't, they can click the X button and the chat would, would disappear and not bother them. Got it. If they and do like the chat. start chatting basically on, on your side, someone will pick it up and will start the communication with you. That's correct. And so what it will do is, is open into a chat window and that would link up to one of our operators. Let me know what, how, how the Zoe integration works. When a conversation ended, for example, what's next? So we will always immediately email that complete transcript of the lead to the business. And as I mentioned, we can also send it via text message or a live phone transfer. But also immediately we would send that into the Zoho CRM so that they're immediately and you can better manage your leads as they come in. So when it's in Zoho CRM, basically I can continue with my own workflows, notifications, whatever I need. And That's correct. You also said you can forward a phone call or connect the business, how, how that works. So right now I'm chatting with the agent. I'm saying, okay, I, I like to proceed or some sign that shows that I'm ready to take the next step. How that works? How are you connecting with, with the business? So what we do is we, we ask the visitor, would you like a phone call from the business right now? 
And if the visitor says yes, then we would place a call to the business. They would answer and they would hear, you have an engaged lead on the line. Visitor's name is, visitor's name with a- so Give me as a business, you give summary. me as a, yes. you're not surprising so a, me with the lead. Right, no surprise. They get a, a also a one sentence summary of what the visitor situation is or their, what they're looking for. Uh, the business then presses a button on their phone and the visitor, they'll be connected immediately before there's a, a chance for them to leave and go elsewhere. Um, the operator will also confirm with the visitor that they were connected successfully. That way, if maybe the business did not answer for whatever reason, um, the visitor is not left hanging and we'll, we'll tell them that someone from the office will reach out at the earliest opportunity. I see. So it, it sounds like you, you're a technology company that's having chat as a solution. But from what I see around your service, you have lots and lots of different technology solutions around your chat. Certainly, and we're, we're always looking and developing uh, new features. Um, the engagelive.com slash features page has thorough explanations of all the features that we have. And again, there's no additional cost for any of them. It's just a matter of what is the best fit for the business. Um, our YouTube channel also has one minute videos about all the, the various features. Um, one feature that comes up uh, frequently is what, whether we integrate with any sort of Google analytic tracking. And we set up Google analytics for all the websites from the get go. And you'll be able to see exactly how well the, the chat is performing for your website. Um, typically we see uh, double the conversion rate from a website after adding engage live chat, but we like to let the numbers speak for themselves. So some of the, the information you'll see there is how, which pages the visitors are chatting on, um, how they found your website, how long the conversations lasted, which surprisingly most chat conversations do go for a long time. People are not the fastest typers we found, uh, but anything you want to well, track. That's great. You, yeah. you want more FaceTime with the, with the user, right? The more, the better. That's right. Certainly. And, and we have the resources that we're, uh, again, our operators are not handling several chats at a time. They can, they, they have the ability to stick around and chat with someone for as long as needed. We are going to drop in the description, a link for people that like to, to ask more questions or maybe uh, subscribe to your service. And the special offer really is that they're not paying the, the, the setup fee of 499, right? Yeah, absolutely. And happy to talk with any business about this. Um, if, if they decide it's, it's not the best fit for them, there's no pressure to try it out. Um, but if, they, if there's just some general questions about it, I'm happy to talk. Um, and uh, I, we can provide my direct line in the chat, in the uh, description. I, I, th I think, I think that it's a good good solution, and the reason is that most businesses all will rely on ship services, and the bottom line, they're not converting or they're presenting the business in the wrong way, because you don't want to have a great business showing a cheap solution, because no one knows that this is a third party. They think this is you. It's like a bad waitress in a in a good restaurant, and the other side is businesses sometimes will have, will give the function of the chat host to one of the employees and it's part of their day and they're not really attentive to the chat and people just clicking, no one is answering, continuing to something else, which also it's not a great solution. So I, I do think that you have a good proposal here. Yeah, that's certainly, um, we, we know that we are going to be the first point of contact for some of these visitors. So we take that very seriously and we want to be as professional as possible. And like you mentioned with um, maybe offering a, a different chat service that's uh, delegated to an in-house employee, uh, actually our first, our very first when we launched, that's, that's how we started out is just providing the software. And it failed very quickly and miserably because what we found is, you know, if that person maybe answers the phone, has various chat conversations going on, 
gets up to use the restroom, get a cup of coffee, you name it. Yeah. If they're not there to reply in three seconds, then that's a, yeah. either a missed opportunity or it could just be a bad first impression of your business. I, I, you see it all the time where there's a live chat option there. You click on it expecting to chat with someone live, but then you click on it, it says we're offline right now. And that's in, in Zoho the Sales thing. IQ, which is a part of the Zoho suite, Sales IQ is the chat and it's part of the software. The main problem is that humans need to host it. And that's the problem. The, the, the solution itself works great, but you need the human behind it to provide the answers and, and convert. The bottom line is it's conversions. If you have no conversions, you have no business. So that's true. And, and there's another piece of that puzzle where a lot of times what we, what we found is companies that have the live chat, they oftentimes try to sell through the chat. So someone hops on and asks for, they might ask, what's the price? And as the business owner, you know that there might be a lot that goes into the price. Right. Um, and if you're not, if you can't explain that to the visitor, then you might just be giving them a one figure price and they're not understanding why that price is the way it is or to them why it's as high as it is. Um, mm -hmm. So our goal is, you know, get the information, assure the visitor that someone's going to be in touch with them very soon and let the business do the actual sales portion of it. Tom, thank you. Thank you very, very much for being with me today. And uh, I'm looking forward to do more things with you. Thank you very much. I look forward to it. Thanks for having me on today. It's good to talk to you. Same um, here. Yeah. Enjoy this very much. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.